I would love to hear your thoughts on how you made sure that the show was celebrating aging through hair. You can't, you can't help but embrace it. It's there. It's obvious. It, it comes out. And so I love the way that Michael wanted to spotlight that because we all get older. We're not in our 30s anymore. I mean, well, you know, but they are in their 30s anymore. <laughs> and um, you have to embrace it. It's nothing that you can do. You just have to live with it, deal with it. Either you're going to color your hair or you're not. And Miranda chose not to color her hair. She wanted to embrace her gray. For her to say, this is who I am and deal with it. And this, and it makes me no less than a woman. Yeah, my red hair is gone, but I'm still that fiery redhead. So I love that. I do, because not all women show their gray. I love that. And, and it's, it's just like a losing battle. Even if you do have gray hair, when you get your hair color, it's still, you know, as a hair color, you still know that it's the gray hair makes that hair color brighter. You know what I'm saying? We know that that's gray hair, but it is what it is. It's not going to make me less of a woman. Sarah Jessica Parker has gotten comments on social media um, <laughs> with people say, like commenting on her gray hair. And it sometimes feels like, the fans are so excited to have these characters back on screen, but they don't want them to have aged when it's been two decades, which is impossible, would be impossible. I Why do you think it still like hits a nerve for people? To me, I feel like those people are unrealistic. There are, I mean, like, are you kidding me right now? Unrealistic. Everybody ages, every, it happens. And, and um, the people that are making comments that one day, even if they are in their 30s, you're going to be 40 and you're going to be 50 and you're going to gray. That's just the reality of it. And it's, and it's very offensive that you have to defend yourself to put out a show, work on a show, put all your, because it was all of your blood, sweat and tears in it. And then to hear the negative feedback, is just totally wrong. Women shouldn't have to worry about whether or not they let their gray hair show or not. It's it's what it is. Just deal with it. It's what it is. It makes me no less than a woman. It makes me no less valuable than somebody that's in their 20s or 30s just because I have gray hair. I mean, you age gracefully. It's what, it comes with knowledge. It comes with experience. I would love to hear how you establish the look of some of these new characters. Um, and I feel like we have to start with Nicole Ari Parker, who plays the fabulous Lisa Todd Wexley. <laughs> His vision for Nicole was to, well, LTW, Lisa Todd Wexley, was for her to um, be Vogue's best dress, be chic, be a trendsetter, and just be breathtaking. Everybody wanted to know, wants to know what she has on, what she's wearing, who does her hair, is just to be sought after a stunning Black woman in upper echelon. Mm -hmm. And so we had to come up with a style that wasn't going to be out of style in 2022. You know what I mean? That had to still be trend setting and still not be passe. It still had to be a chic look. And um, we tried several, we tried four different looks and he mm -hmm. settled on her bob, like a slightly asymmetric bob. Michael, you know, we call him MPK. Michael is very hands-on with all of the characters, how he wants them to look what he wants them to look like. Yes, no, he's very hands-on. Seema Patel, played by Sarita <laughs> Chowdhury, has like the most beautiful mane of hair. How mm -hmm. did you land on kind of those like glossy waves? When I tell you her hair is perfect, her hair is perfect, like to die for, perfect, effortless. The key word for her was, <laughs> she's a million dollar realtor. She does not have time to do her own hair. And she goes to the dry bar every day to get her hair done Love every it. day. She is flawless. Her hair, her clothes, her bags, her shoes, her nails. She goes, she's prop, like posh, posh and chic. I want to talk about Dr. Nia Wallace, Karen Pittman's yeah. character, who just looks as well, super glorious at all mm -hmm. times. Um, what went into her look? What was the inspiration and how did it come together? She is, Dr. Nia Wallace is, supposed, is a professor, a law professor. She's a wife. He wanted her to be effortless. Like I'm building, I'm, when I'm off work, I'm taking care of this and I'm off work and I'm taking care of that. And I'm also a professor. I want something that is effortless. That is something that I don't have to wake up and think about. I just want to get up and go. And braids are a no brainer. And he said, being that she was consumed with all of this and getting it off the ground. He wanted to make sure that she, we showed natural hair 
Mm -hmm. showed a black woman wearing her natural hair and being very comfortable in it and doing a multitude of styles. Mm 